my wife is the master of trying new things and being open-minded to doing things that she's never done before. And it's not that I'm not open to trying new things. It's just that I normally have a rhythm and I normally just kind of stick to the status quo. So when she told me about this weird drink called kombucha, I think that's how it's pronounced. I think it's pronounced, hang on a second. We're gonna actually look this up because I don't even know how to pronounce that. Kombucha. Got it right, point for me. Anyway, when I heard my wife telling me about this drink she was going to learn how to make called kombucha, I was like, what the heck is kombucha? Ugh, it sounds so gross. And then she showed me the little scoby thing that grows, it's like a bacterial colony or some crazy crap like that. I don't even fully understand it, to be honest. But when she told me about it, I was like, no, no way. <laughs> that smells delicious. So bear with me for a second because this comes full circle. I typically find routines that I like. I find gear that I like and then I stick with it. I don't normally switch companies. I don't normally switch brands. I become a brand loyalist after I find one good piece of equipment. But there's something that I wanna take away from my wife and what she's taught me. And that is that it's time for me to try some different gear out. And today, I just got a new package on my front porch delivered to me from Blue Alpha Gear. Here's to trying some new things. Let's get into this video. I have been running the same EDC belt for quite some time and one piece of gear that has always eluded me, it's something I've never added to my lineup, has been what I would call a quote unquote battle belt. Something that has an external belt and an internal belt something that always has my holsters and pieces of kit on it at all times so that at a moment's notice, I could grab it and deploy my weapon, deploy my pistol, deploy my tourniquet or whatever health and medical equipment I have with me to be able to have spare magazines in one location, even if they're just hanging on my bedpost while I go to bed. And so I finally put an order in with Blue Alpha Gear and that's exactly what I got. I got a double belt set up and I'm gonna open up the package right here and we're gonna go through that. But a little bit of a backstory on Blue Alpha Gear. I met Jesse and Kurt probably a year, maybe a year and a half ago. I met them through my friend Greg who owns a company called The Neomag. Many of you know about Neomag and what they do, but either way, he introduced me to these guys and they're super awesome guys. So when I was looking at grabbing another belt, they stood out to me. It was definitely a viable option. I know that Ridge runs one of their belt setups. I've seen him using it. It looks legit. But I've never actually owned any piece of Blue Alpha Gear kit. So I ordered one on their website. They had advertised about a four week lead time. So this was about a month ago that I ordered the belt and today it showed up on my door. So I'm gonna cut this package open. We are gonna check out this belt and this isn't really a full in-depth review because I haven't used it yet. But what I'm gonna do is explain why I purchased this belt and what roles I think this is gonna fill for me. Kinda of do a little bit of an overview and a first impression of the belt as it comes out of the package. And then in future videos, I would like to show off how I actually set up this belt. So without further ado, we got the Abraham and Moses knife and we are gonna cut this package open. Let's do this. Oh, we got the shirt. I did order a shirt, I forgot about that. I also think I got some patches. Oh yeah, we got patches. So we can't, can't get a belt from Blue Alpha without getting some of their Blue Alpha patches. So I did order their swag pack, which looks like it comes with a couple patches, some stickers, and it came with their Blue Alpha t-shirt. So I will definitely be rocking that stuff on the range. For now, I'm gonna get that out of the way because what we wanna talk about today is this belt. Get that off to the side. So right here is the beast itself. Check that out. Hopefully you guys can see that. So first impression, just holding this, this thing's beefy. I can tell it's incredibly sturdy. I opted to go with the Molly 
version of this belt. They do offer another version, which would just kind of be like a standard material, I believe, a double stitch material, just like this one, except it would not have the Molly on it. Now, I wasn't exactly sure whether I wanted the Molly or not, but after thinking about it and after talking to Kurt, it just sounded like getting the Molly version wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hinder me in any way, shape or form. But if I wanted to use the Molly sections on the belt, I would have the ability to do that if I got the Molly version of this thing. So now what I'm gonna do is actually take this apart, we'll discuss the inner belt, and then we're gonna discuss the outer belt as well. So for anybody not aware, a quote unquote battle belt normally consists, at least in this configuration, of an inside belt like this. Now this would be the normal belt that you would put around your waist, through your pants, it would just simply loop through right here and hook back to itself. What you'll notice is there's actually Velcro along the entire outside edge. And then the opposite Velcro is sewn to the inside of the battle belt. And what that's going to allow you to do is to wear this as your EDC kit, or even if you're on the range, if you know you're about to go shooting, you can grab this inside belt, throw it on with just your pants and you don't need any other gear on. You could wear your inner waistband holsters or whatever you want with this belt. And then when it's time to get to the range, you can already have this entire belt set up with your holster, your magazine holders. If you have any medical equipment in a tourniquet holder or something like that, you could put that on the belt. And then all you have to do is slap it around your waist and you're good to go. And that's what I've been looking for. So I've been using my T-Rex arms EDC belt, which is a phenomenal belt. I have loved it for the past couple years, but I've never had a battle belt that I could have designated for my kit. And so I'm always that guy on the range that is taking 20 minutes just to thread my belt through my holsters, through my outside the waistband kit. And it's just a pain in the butt. And then if I want to shoot any inside the waistband stuff, I have to completely change my holster and belt setup. And it's just, um, it's a mess. It's just not efficient, especially when you're creating as many videos and trying to make as much content as I am. I cannot believe I've gone almost five years without having a belt like this. So the inside belt, like I've been saying, is very simple. It looks like a double layered material. There's lots of stitching going on here. Everything's square and straight. It looks good. Very simple, just a plastic little loop here that you thread through. There's not really much else to say about this. The color that I opted to go with on my belt setup was OD green. I felt like that would blend in really well. It's a similar color to my T-Rex arms belt and it's something that I like. It doesn't stand out. I'm actually not a huge fan of wearing a ton of black gear. I feel like it just looks too tactical. So yeah guys, that's the inside belt. Super simple there. Moving on to the outside belt. So this has a really big, beefy, heavy duty Cobra buckle which the Cobra buckle is pretty standard in the industry. Now, what I will say is that with their other version of their EDC belt, they have a very unique take on the Cobra buckle and they actually use a smaller buckle on one side so that you can thread the belt through your pants without having to actually undo one of the buckles. My T-Rex arms belt has the same size Cobra buckle on each side. And so when I actually wanna put it through my pants, I gotta undo the one buckle, it just doesn't fit through the loops. Not the biggest deal breaker, but it just shows that they're looking for innovation wherever they can. And that's one of the things that stood out to me about this company. I opted to go with the D-Ring Cobra Buckle. Now, I'm not really anticipating having to use this at all, but if you were strapping into a helicopter or you're in a line of dudes in some kind of fast moving vehicle and you wanted a lanyard or wanted to be hooked into something so you didn't fall off and die, this would give you the ability to do that. And they've got this cool little tab that just snaps right on there and kind of stows away the D-ring. And then on this side, you can tell that you have the adjustment and it has a little band here. And you can just kind of roll up the excess length of the outside belt and it keeps it in a nice little area there. So this belt here is super sturdy. I mean, you can tell that it just holds its own weight and no doubt, even once I put my holsters on this thing, and my mag carriers, it's going to be very sturdy and it's going to lock on very well. Some of the concerns people have generally that I've talked to about using an inner belt with Velcro and a battle belt like this is they're worried about how long it's going to last. And while it is true that Velcro can wear out over time, I have 
friends that I've been shooting with for years and years and years that have been wearing the same belt setup. And these guys have had no failures that I know of, but I'll keep everybody up to speed on how this belt performs because I do shoot more than the average person. On the Molly version, you can hopefully see in this video, hopefully it stands out enough to you, you can see that there's little stitched Molly sections here that you could thread any kind of Molly accessory through, and it does go the entire length around the belt. The finish on it, the edges, everything's smooth, all the stitching looks straight, there's no frays or anything out of line. There's good branding. The size of my belt is inside. And that's one thing that I wanted to touch on is the ordering process from Blue Alpha Gear. It's super easy to hop on their website and order a belt. They size the belts based on your pant size. Every other belt that I've ever purchased for an EDC kind of belt, that's a little heavier duty than a standard leather belt or just an everyday belt, has been a pain in the butt. You've had to take very specific measurements around your waist and they cut that out, they made it super simple. You measure based on your pant size. The prices on these belts do vary. The belt that I bought here, the retail price on this is just under $160. And while for some people I could understand that they might say, oh man, that's really high, that's the going rate for a battle belt setup, for something that's going to last you, that has good American quality, uses a really heavy, beefy buckle, that's a normal price. And to me, a good belt is worth spending that on because you're gonna keep it with you for a long time, just like your holster, just like your magazines, just like all the other pieces of kit that you would have on your body at any given time. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is not really a review yet. This is more of just an unboxing video. Obviously, I do not have the outer belt set up. What I can tell you is that I do plan to put my T-Rex arms Ragnarok out through here. And again, this is where that Molly belt comes in handy. It has the versatility of the Molly, but it's still going to fit through my Ragnarok and allow me to run my OWB holster without any issues. So the Molly doesn't get in the way of you running any kind of a standard piece of kit. And I believe that is why Kurt told me that. It's better if you have to choose between the two to just go with the Molly webbing version of their belts. Guys, I'm super excited to get this belt out onto the range and to run drills with it and do some shooting and, and really integrate it into my training. You will see more content, especially on my Instagram page, upcoming soon as I really dig into this belt and find out how it does for me. If you wanna check out Blue Alpha Gear, their website is bluealphabelts.com or just type in Blue Alpha Gear online on Google or check out their Instagram, Facebook, all that nonsense. But guys, they make really awesome belts. They're really super good dudes. They're moral guys. Their business story is amazing. It's super interesting. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Blue Alpha Gear, Greg and myself over on our podcast called Forging the Journey did an interview with them, I believe it was two weeks ago. So hop on to wherever you consume your podcast, type in Forging the Journey, and then look for that episode. I believe it was episode 66 where we talk to Jesse and Kurt from Blue Alpha Gear. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in and checking out this video. Hopefully this made you aware of maybe a new belt company that you hadn't heard of before. And I encourage you, just like I'm trying out a new piece of kit, to mix it up a little bit and not to be scared to try out different things and to kind of forge forward and try stuff that maybe you haven't done in the past. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Please leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and please turn on those notifications. Guys, stay well, stay safe. I will see you in the next video.